Hello, my name is Gilles Gauthier. I'm responsible for the technical coordination and product development at Total Bitumen. We will now start our discovery of bitumen by a few words about the history of this material. You will see that bitumen has been used for centuries and that the different types of bitumen exist. I will give you the basic definitions that will allow you to understand this substance called bitumen. Let's now go back a bit in history. Bitumen exists in natural seepages around the world and was used for construction and waterproofing long before refining was even invented. For instance, the first known uses of bitumen was located in Mesopotamia, the cradle of the civilization, located in modern Iraq. In these ancient times, bitumen was taken directly from natural fields or lakes. It was mainly used for waterproofing or sheep caulking. And by the way, it is said that without bitumen, Noah's Ark would never have floated. Traces of early use of bitumen has been found on every continent around the world. All ancient civilization used natural bitumen for various applications like adhesives, mortars, and waterproofing. Bitumen was used by the ancient Egyptians to embalm mummies. Interestingly, bitumen has also been used in sculptures at all times in history, turning a construction material into a work of art. The first use of bitumen as a construction material for road pavement appeared in Europe in the 1830s, simultaneously in France and England. Bitumen became then widely used for pavement and roofs. One of the earliest use in France was the laying of about 30,000 square yards at the Place de la Concorde in 1835. The first British patents for the use of bitumen in road constructions were issued in the 1830s. This technology was later introduced in the United States in the 1870s. It has continuously improved ever since. Now that we have seen that bitumen has a long history of use, you may wonder what it really is. First of all, words are important and can be misleading. So let's define a few terms that are commonly used and sometimes mistaken. For instance, the terms asphalt and bitumen are often used interchangeably. In American English, asphalt or asphalt cement is the refined residue of the distillation process of a selected crude oil. Outside the United States, the product is often called bitumen. In Europe, asphalt has a different meaning. It relates to the asphalt mixture, combining bitumen with stone aggregates, and is used as a paving material. Now that we are all together speaking the same language, let's now focus on bitumen, its composition, and its properties. In most cases, bitumen is produced in a refinery. It is one of the heaviest stream coming from the refining of petroleum crude oil. It is then called refined bitumen. You will learn more about this process further in the MOOC. But we have seen previously that bitumen also existed before the refinery were built. The explanation is simple. In some cases, crude oils are so heavy and thick that they are naturally close to the consistency of bitumen. In that case, the raw material can be directly used without any refining. It is then called natural bitumen. On a chemical point of view, bitumen is a blend of heavy hydrocarbons. These molecules can be separated into two fractions. Maltines is an oily brown light liquid, including the blend of saturates, aromatics, and resins. Asphaltines is a black solid composed of condensed polyaromatic molecules, including some heterod atoms like metals, nitrogen, and sulfur. Bitumen is often defined as a suspension of asphaltines into a maltine matrix. It is the composition of this suspension that provides bitumen with unique mechanical properties. The main characteristics of bitumen has been listed by the International Organization for Standardization, ISO, around the following key elements. Bitumen is solid at ambient temperature and softens when heated turning gradually into a viscous liquid. It is non-volatile at ambient temperature 
and atmospheric pressure. It is black or dark brown and it has waterproofing and adhesive properties. Two important characteristics can be added to this list. First, it is cohesive. In a bituminous pavement, it acts as a glue that holds the aggregates together. In that sense, it's called a bituminous binder. Secondly, it is durable. Bitumen is the result of the transformation of biomass into hydrocarbons. This transformation requires particular conditions of temperature and pressure but more importantly, it requires time, millions of years. You can understand that this slow process makes bitumen chemically very stable. It is perfectly adapted to the construction of pavements that are supposed to last for decades. Let's now summarize what we have learned about bitumen. Bitumen has been used for centuries and more, all around the world, mainly for its waterproofing properties. Bitumen is mainly produced in a refinery, but can be also found at natural state. It is a combination of complex hydrocarbon providing unique mechanical properties like adhesion, cohesion and durability, making bitumen the perfect binder for pavement materials. Thank you for your attention.